Hello there and welcome to what I'm calling a color tutorial. These are the kind of looks where I've already put my foundation on, my brows on, but we're going to focus on eyes, cheeks, and lips. I've done these in the past but never gave them official names, so I thought let's start color tutorials. And I just know that some of you don't want to spend a whole hour or half hour watching me do the whole shebang. And so I thought I would do these tutorials. Today I am getting ready to film a hair tutorial. So thus my hair looks really crazy at the moment. And I thought I would go ahead and film whatever makeup look I do today. I have some ideas because I want to use a new palette from Danessa and a bright lip color. So that's kind of the direction we're going. Let's jump into it. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. I've already started off with eyeshadow primer. I use the Milani eyeshadow primer. I have been playing around with this palette for several days and I've learned you definitely need a good eyeshadow base down. So number one, top priority. What is this palette? It is the new Danessa Myricks Groundwork and this is the Blooming Romance palette. What is unique about this palette is not only does it have a cream and powder formula for each color, but it is formulated to be safe to use on the eyes, cheeks, lips. You could use brows, but I don't think there's really too many people that can pull off these colors in their brows because these actually do have quite a lot of red. But if you're a redhead, you could probably find a good brow color in here. So we're gonna use this for the majority. Now all of these colors are matte. So I have another palette. I'm gonna bring in maybe a little shimmer. But since I've already applied eyeshadow primer, I did add a little bit of a brow bone highlight shade because this is just a little too pink for that for me. But we are gonna go in with the rougher number 27 and a little bit of this light pink. So the smaller pan, is the powder formulation for each color. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of this. It's not gonna show up a great deal, but it is just gonna help me blend a little deeper shadow into the crease and have it blend a little better. I mean, these do blend easily, don't get me wrong, but I kinda wanna keep this look on the eyes a little lighter overall because we are gonna use a bright lip shade today. So this is hopefully going to end up being a bright, fresh, springy look with a bright lip. So this is kind of my version of a spring bright lip look. All right, next I'm going to go in, let's go in with a little bit of this shade right here. And I'm using the rougher number 27 brush. I'm gonna use several rougher brushes because they are getting ready to have a, I think it's a 40% off sale. So if you've had your eye on rougher brushes, definitely go sign up to be notified for their subscription for their newsletter or check the description box down below for links. You can use my links, I appreciate it, or you can shop directly on their site, but I have really enjoyed their brushes and really high quality. I'm just continuing to put that through. Now what I have learned, very critical thing about this palette, if you use the creams on your eyes, you must set them with the powder or they will not set and stay all day. Maybe if you have super dry eyelids, they will, but I have had to make sure that I set them very well. So you might be wondering, well, why would you go in with the creams? Well, the creams give you just a little added depth with your shadows. All right, so next let's go in, I'm gonna go in with this one. Now this looks super, super dark and it's really not that dark. They're very buildable. So with these creams, you either want to go in with your finger first or a flat brush. So I just like to get it started with my finger, do a little bit here in the outer corner and these creams do blend amazingly well on the eyes and of course on the cheeks too, but I like to just lay down a little bit of product and then I'm gonna go in with this rougher number two brush. I love this brush. I've used a couple of different ones for this palette. So this one has kind of my darker shades on it. So I'm gonna go in with a little more of that color and I'm using the tip of the brush I'm gonna use this as almost like a very soft kind of liner, and we'll probably touch this up again with the powder version, but I'm just gonna add a little bit there, and then I'll flatten out the brush, 
and use just a little more here in the outer corner. So what's neat though, is you don't have to set this with the exact same color powder shadow. So we can go in with this depth here and then go over the top of it with something a little bit lighter. So I think, let's see here, let's go in. Hmm. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this shade first and I'm taking the rougher number one brush. And so now I'm gonna go in and I'm going to set first the top part of that cream and blend the edge of that onto the lid. And then I'll clean off that brush and I'm gonna tap in just lightly into that dark brown color. And now use that brush to just set and diffuse the outer edge there. But again, you need to make sure you thoroughly cover the creams. So I, I do really enjoy the unique qualities of this palette but I do think that it is one that you need to make sure you've got some time to play with it, especially the first time you use it. I made sure not to use this on Sunday when I was trying to get ready to rush out the door for church for the first time <laughs> because I just wasn't sure how it was all gonna come together. But you can see, even though there's really not purple in this palette, these are all kind of browns and burgundies, I was able to create kind of a really soft berry brown on the outer corner by combining some shades. So I really like how that came together. So I'm gonna finish up the next eye and then we'll add some shimmer. I'm adding a little more of this and then I think I'll add a little bit of the pink next to it. Kind of like a, a rosy sunset eye. Now yesterday I used this palette and I did a full on kind of warm sunset eye with a lot of these shades and it was really pretty. But we're gonna stop there for the moment and let's go to, actually let's go ahead and do, we'll do the lower lash line first, then we'll add our shimmer. So I'm gonna go in with my, another one of these number two brushes. This one has had some lighter shadow and I'm gonna go in first with this kind of rosy cream shade and they do all have names, but it's black on black, which is always so hard to read <laughs> without pulling out my readers. So I know you're, if you have this palette, you can easily follow along. So this shade I like because it's a little cooler. Yes, it's a little bit of pink on the lower lash line, but don't worry. We're going to make sure we don't end up looking ill. <laughs> Okay, and then I am going to go in with the Sigma E15 brush, and I'm going to set that in place first with a little bit of this shadow that we used in the outer corner just to connect things here. And then I'll clean off that brush and go in with the powder shadow there of that cream and just softly work that all in together. Okay. Let's add some shimmer. Now I did an all matte look yesterday and I really did enjoy it. But today I wanna to add some shimmer because I have another new palette. This is the Dream Gaze palette from Alter Ego. And I wanna do some really fun looks with this. I'm feeling really inspired, but so far I have not been able to get off of using these pinky shimmery. They have a duochrome, they're so beautiful. So I'm gonna go in first with this one and I'll use my finger at first to apply. These definitely apply more vibrantly with a wet brush. So I'm just gonna lay down a little bit of the product here and then we'll go in with a wet brush and then I'm gonna add a little bit of this. Now this looks white, but it has the most beautiful duochrome, it has a little bit of a pink shift. It's so pretty. I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but really pretty. All right, and then I'm going to now take my Sigma E60 and I'm going to layer up on one side this shadow and on the other side that shadow. And now use some setting spray, the Maybelline Lasting Fix spray. And I'll 
pat a little bit on each eye and then flip the brush over, go in the inner corner with that slightly lighter, brighter shade. Oh, it's so pretty. And these, even though they have shimmer, these have not been, they haven't had fallout and they're not like flaky, shimmery, glittery colors. So, so far, now there are a few colors in here that look maybe a little more glittery, shimmery, but these are not, okay. I'm going to go back with the rougher number one brush and I'm going to use a little combination of these two shades right here. Just use this to now soften the line between that shimmer shade and the outer corner because I do want this to just stay overall kind of bright and light. And then I'll go back to the E15 and we're going to add a little bit of the powder shadow here just right into the roots of the lashes. And we'll use this as our liner today. Okay, I applied some concealer and before I set it in place, I've, I wanna do a little pivot here and I'm gonna add a little bit of the Urban Decay Mushroom Eye Pencil. If you can see a difference between this eye and this eye, maybe you can or not, but I feel like sometimes with pink on the upper lid, especially because this shimmer is more pink. I need something a little cooler here just to tone down that look on the lower lash line because that's when sometimes, I know many of you are afraid of looking sick if you're wearing pink eyeshadow. So this is one of my favorite tricks is to pull in a shimmery gray something cool toned on the lower lash line. And yes, that made a huge difference. Okay, now before we set the face, I'm gonna go in with the, go back to this palette and we're gonna add a little blush today. And I'm using the rougher number four brush. This is my favorite for cream brush blush. And it is a small enough brush to be able to get into these pants. Now that is one of the downsides. You can't get a big old brush in these cream sides in these cream products. So I'm going to go in, I think I'm going to go in with this cream blush here. And I have already applied contour. And if I didn't mention it already, I will list down below my foundation and everything else that's on my face. Oh yeah, that's pretty. These really do perform well on the face. I really do love these and you can use them as lip liner as well. And I was tempted to do that today, but I think I'm going to, I have another video planned where we're going to do that. But today I really was wanting to, I think, pull in <laughs> a brighter lip today. We'll see how it turns out. But I did want to incorporate the blush here. And, you know, you can mix your perfect shade. So if you feel like you need a little more warmth, I might add just a touch of the one right next to it. Yes. Okay. All right, I added mascara, obviously, and now we're ready for a little highlighter. I'm using this new one from Ofra. I bought this during the Ulta Beauty sale, and it is called Inner Glow. And what I love is you've got two different options, or you can swirl them together and make a beautiful color. So I'm gonna use the rougher six, no, 18 brush. And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna tap in the top and then just lightly in the pink. And these highlighters are, I mean, no joke. A little goes a long way. One thing I do love about these being so shimmery is they do make good inner corner highlights. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna tap into the white and go right on the inner corner. Ooh, ooh, do you see how much color? Whoa. Don't worry, we're gonna, we're gonna blend it out. I'm just laying down the product. And then I'm gonna go in with my Sigma E30 and back to the Dream Gaze palette. And I'll mix a little bit of this over that shimmer shade and just kind of blend it all together. So I feel like this Dream, the this cream shade in the Dream Gaze palette, it can just pull off a little bit too much pink in the inner corner, but mixed with that highlighter, I 
think it works. Add a little more of the Ofra white shade here. Just kind of blend those together. So much like we did on the lower lash line, I feel like the inner corner is the other way to kind of fix a, if you're wearing pink shadow, if you feel like it's looking a little strange or you're looking a little sick, go on the inner corner with something that is gold or champagne color. And that will, I think, make the whole look come together and make you not look ill. <laughs> I think when you put pink on the inner corner or bring pink all the way in or all the way around your eye, that is when we get that look that we don't love. All right, it's time for our lip combination. As always, I'm gonna apply a little bit of MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot around the edge. All right, let's apply our lip color and then we'll see if we need any more blush. I like to either start off with my bright lip and then apply blush or just apply a light amount and then the lip and then see if we need more. So I'm gonna start off first with the Berry Pop Lip Pencil from Natasha Denona. Now you can see that that color has just a hint of some reddish tones, but it does have pink in there. But I still wanna to tone it down just a little bit and cool it off. So I'm gonna go in next with the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude Lip Pencil, and this is in the shade Naya, which is a cool kind of brown shade. And just gonna lightly go over that. See how that transformed it? And now let's go in with the Berry Pop Lipstick, also by Natasha Denona. Mm, the formula on that lipstick is so nice. Now, the fun thing that we can do is we could go back to our Danessa Myricks palette and go in with a little bit of this light pink shade. Now you wanna be careful if you're using these on cheeks and lips, Make sure you're either cleaning out the pan or multiple using multiple fingers or brushes so you don't get a lot of things mixed in there with the cream. But I'm going to go in with that and just touch a little here. Use a different finger. And then I am adding a little bit of this one right here. So you can literally create your own personal color of lipstick, either from here or mixed with your lipsticks. The last thing I wanna do is just add a little bit of bronzer. I don't think I need any more pink on the cheeks, but I'm gonna add a little bit of the Gucci bronzer and just lightly top over the top of the cheeks. This is like pixie dust. It's like that perfect finishing touch, either this or the Dalton Afterglow. Refocus palette. I've been using that so much that way I give you all break <laughs> and use something else. There we go. That's what we needed. All right. As you can see, I styled my hair. It's looking even crazier than before, but hey, it's fun. So here now is our finished makeup look. And I really like it. I hope that you do too. It's been really fun to wear those brighter reds during the winter. And now as we're transitioning into the spring, I find myself still wanting something a little more colorful on the lips, but going a little more in the pink tones. So I think this is going to be a lip color that I'm grabbing for a lot. And then the eye look. I am enjoying the process of getting to know this palette. So stay tuned. I have some more tutorials planned with that. And then definitely stay tuned. I am going to be having some fun in this region with this palette coming up soon. As always, check the description box down below. I will have links and a list of everything that I use today, as well as the other things like foundation and contour and powder that are on my face that I did not share in the tutorial today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. Gracie just decided to come up and say a final hello <laughs> or final goodbye. Hi and goodbye. She got a haircut. I'm in need of a haircut too. <laughs>